For those of you that are new here, my name is Claire. I usually bring videos every week. Sometimes if I get a holiday, I bring two or three in one week and it's like crazy. But yeah, usually it's once a week. So it has been over a week since my last video, which is a bit long. That's me. Today's video is going to be what I've wanted for a long time, which is a bath board. We all either do or we don't have baths. I'm usually a shower person, but every now and again, I like to have a bath. And every time I get in the bath, I just look and I think, see, I, I need a bath board. Should have made it, I should have done it. Never did, I'm gonna do it right now. If you watched our house tour, you will know that our bathroom is tiny, so, so small. Um, the tiles were already here when we moved in, so that is a job that we will be doing in the future because I know exactly what I want. But at the moment, they are kind of like make do and get on. First thing I need to do is measure the width of the bath. So that's measuring at 26 and a half inches. This is the machine I've bought. It is a mitre saw, but it's just going to save so much time. So you make sure you want to do your measurements as I've been taught. <laughs> Measure twice, cut once. So I've done my measurements on the wood and I'm just going to go through and cut that board out. and these are the two blocks that are going to stop it from slipping off of the bath and it has just started to pour down outside so I cannot get out to sand this down. I just bought the wood upstairs just to try it out for size. It's absolutely perfect. It, the wood itself is warped a tad but it sits pretty solid on the bath. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a pen. I'm going to go in under over here, mark the line of the bath and in under here to mark the line of the bath. That's where I want those two pieces of wood to be stuck so that that does not wobble. going to stop it from falling in the bath, sand it down. I'm not going to pretend that was quick, that took me about one hour. Um, yeah, that is not the fun part, but yeah, that's both sides and the edges have all been rounded off and it's really, actually really nice and smooth. So I'm going to take this back upstairs and just mark those lines again because of course I didn't think ahead and they've obviously gone, I've sanded them out. So I need to go remark those lines, then I'm going to stick the wood where I need to stick them clamp them down and yeah, wait for that to dry. Right, so here is my board. I marked those two lines. I'm just gonna stick these um, little thingies, whatever you call them, there's probably a name, just to the inside of those lines. Um, give or take half a mil. I don't want them too far in, but I need to make sure this definitely fits once these are glued together. The next step for me is to stain it with a stain. I've used the same stain kind of over and over in all my videos. It's a mix between oak and walnut. I kind of just mix the two together. So I'm just gonna go for that color. I'm gonna brush it on and wipe it off with a cloth.
that is it stained I'm not going to go any darker than that you could if you wanted to go two shades three shades keep laying it on but yeah I'm happy with this right I'm gonna wait for the stain to dry and then I'm gonna take it upstairs and before I give it a coat of varnish I am just gonna write a little word on the side I have got the board upstairs now the last thing I want to do is put the word relax on it now this might be a tricky one because I really want it to come here but then I've kind of got nothing to lean on so I'm just gonna use my hand to lean and just write it now I am gonna do it freehand um, but again it's up to you guys you can just trace something off the internet or if you've got a machine that can cut it out for you then go ahead and do that I'm just gonna do it freehand and whatever it turns out like is how it's gonna be And there it is, it took a couple of little coats on that, but that is a paint pen, really easy to use. And that is it, that is the board completely finished. And I am gonna give it a coat of varnish. Now I do wanna say, disclaimer, I don't bath every single day. I'm not gonna leave this in the bathroom, so I'm probably not using the best products. If you are thinking of making a bath board that is gonna live in your bathroom permanently and you know your bathroom gets steamy, then you really wanna go for the best wood the best kind of stain and the, the kind of varnish that will never allow the moisture to get to your wood. I am going to use a clear matte interior varnish purely because I really only have a bath every month or like once a month, once every two months, kind of have to be in the mood for it. But yeah, generally I just shower every day. So I will be taking this out of the bathroom. It won't live in there. And that is why you've seen me use the products that I have used. But also I'm gonna be using this um, interior clear matte varnish to give this a really nice coat before putting it in the bathroom. And it is the finished product and I have to say I'm actually buzzing. I love it so much. I'm standing here like did I just make that? I made that. I actually made that. So I am going to put the light on now so you can see it. I just turned them all off so you could get the cinematic glow. But ew, back to normal. <laughs> So here it is, here is the bath board. Guys, I don't think this could be any easier. Like, what I want my videos to do is, I want you to be sitting there thinking, I swear we've got a bit of wood in the shed. Go and grab it, make yourself a bath board. So this could not be any easier. You know, like I said before, if you want it done properly, like if it's gonna live in your bathroom for the rest of your life, then of course you wanna invest in you know wood proper varnish proper stain everything for me this is absolutely perfect oh my gosh I love it of course I've just lit the candles you know for YouTube <laughs> but guys oh my gosh the best thing about this is that our bath kind of gets thinner as it goes down so this is wedged and it will not ever move so well apart from when I take it away. But I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope I've been able to inspire you just to make a quick DIY project like this one and just transform your space, you know? This one was for me. This one is, I'm gonna spoil myself, have a really nice hot bath, which I have already run, but you can't really see it in the light. <laughs> Got lots of bubbles, absolutely gorgeous. <gasps> oh, I'm in love. Anyway. Just thank you so much for hanging around to the end if you have. Well done, congratulations. Really sorry for my absence. But yeah, you know, when you've got to work nine to five, it kind of gets in the way of everything. Anyway, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.